So I thought it might be an interesting video if I did one about my standard fuchsia. So this is a fuchsia that I got, I think it was in May, um, about May time last year, or this this year, sorry. Um, it's now October, so it's quite a few months old. It was only about this tall, and it was just a small little like bush. Um, I'll show you some photos of what it looked like before I pruned it. Now, um, the variety is Voodoo, which is one of the largest flowering varieties of futures you can get. Um, this is only just opened, as you can see, this one's starting to open, this one's just opened, so it does get a lot bigger, actually. As you can see there, um, I guess my hand is a pretty big flower already. I'm six foot five, so that gives you an idea, I've got large hands, so that flower is really big. Um, I don't think I've got much for scale. I've got a large, a large mug here. As you can see next to the large mug, it's um, it's a huge flower. There's also a pen for scale. So it's a very large flower indeed. Um, so it will get bigger. What happens is that it'll probably get down to about that by that. So it's a huge flower. Um, that's the Voodoo variety, which is one of the biggest flowering varieties of, of um, fuchsia you can get. So I thought it would look really nice um, as a standard because it has very long uh, stems here on the on the flowers. So they hang down quite well. So what I thought would look nice is to have an arch. So it would arch over a bit like a Phanopsis orchid, you know, a bit like a bit like some of these over here. It would arch over with the stems like that, and as they arch over, um, the flowers will hang down. So I'll do that with this fuchsia. I think it should look really nice. It'll come up and over. What I might do is I might have two or three or four branches coming out. So it's like a, not sure what it would look like, but like, maybe like a lamppost, like something with several bits coming out, curving over. Like I said, I cut. I started it by cutting everything off apart from this one suit, which was the longest one. What I've done from then on is I've taken off all the side suits so it doesn't branch because it naturally wants to be like a shrub. So it's constantly shooting out side suits and putting out suckers from the base. So I keep nipping them off to keep it growing tall. I've also um, had a bamboo cane and tied it on tight because it's naturally quite wobbly. Uh, and wiggly the, the shape of the stem so that's keeping it straight now I just have to keep that check that it doesn't grow and strangle itself with the string but that's done quite recently so it's fine now uh, it's got to a decent height now if you were growing this out for someone that was a bit exposed to outside what you would actually do is leave a little bit of let every no node just shoot out a little bit but just keep it clipped to one internode with like a pair of leaves because what that will do is it will thicken the stem and keep a, a nice thick stem along the whole, the whole lot. However, well, I'm going to have mine staked. I'm going to have it on a inside in the house during winter where there's no wind, and then outside I'll have it on a very sheltered balcony. So I'm I don't need that at the moment. I may try and um, thicken it up later on if it looks a bit flimsy, but it should be fine. So I've now got it to about the height that I'd like, which is over a foot. And then I'm going to get some support. I'm going to bend it over like this with some wire and have that curve. And then these will fall down nicely. I'll give you an example here. It should look like that, the side suits. So the flowers will hang down and they'll be kept away from the foliage, and that way they'll be much more easy to see. Um, to, to have more than one shoot going off the side, what I'll, so all I'll have to do is let these side, side shoots grow um, which they will do quite readily as the rest of the side shoots are constantly trying to grow I just keep nipping them off so all I will do is not nip these off let them grow and then nip their side shoots off, shoots off so that it grows a nice straight curved line and I'll just angle it so they're evenly spaced away from this one and then it should have a nice quite a nice display I think now it might be a while until I have another video to show how it's doing because it's October now and I'm not expecting a lot of growth for winter 
especially this far north up in Edinburgh, there's not enough, enough daylight really for it to grow much. But come spring, hopefully I'll do another update and it should look like a really nice standard fuchsia.